As the resin enters the injection barrel, it is driven forward by the rotation of the screw, which is powered by the hydraulic motor. The resin plasticizes or melts as the turning screw drags it towards the nozzle end. This is referred to as drag flow. Drag flow causes the polymer molecules to slide over each other, creating frictional heat, which melts the material. External heating bands provide additional heat to the injection barrel. The heating bands bring the material to its final temperature and compensate for the radiation heat loss. The temperature is controlled by three thermocouples in the barrel and one in the nozzle. The screw consists of three zones. The first zone, which is one half of the screw, is called the feed zone. It has a constant flight depth, which forces the material together and rids it of air. The second zone, called the melt zone, has a decreasing flight depth, which reduces the plastic volume. This causes the plastic molecules to rub harder against each other, plasticizing the material. The melt zone leads to the third, or metering zone. The metering zone has a constant flight depth much smaller than that of the feed zone. This section acts as a pump. The tip of the screw has a one-way valve which lets the material flow only towards the nozzle end. The force of the plasticized material pushes the screw back as it turns. This builds a chamber of plastic in front of the screw. When enough material for the injection shot is melted, the screw stops and pulls back to decompress the material. For injecting the material, the one-way valve closes as the screw is hydraulically pushed forward by the injection cylinder. This sends the molten material through the injection unit's nozzle and into the injection mold.